Mm. So what we have here is a machine that was a, a real over Unity machine that came out of Germany. And to this day, it's a secret except for what you see right here. What we have is a machine that came out of Germany and since he hired very slow people and I get, and today you would say that person would be a little bit retarded. Mm -hmm. That would be the perfect person to do this because the, they wouldn't know. They would only know well, I wound, I wound this, and it was 400 feet long, and we twisted them together, and and then we wound them around this 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 tube here that we made, and that's all I did. That's all I did. Yeah, they keep repeating that because they they don't know what's going to happen with this piece, and. And how he slotted the case, from what I understand, was they drilled holes and they filed it. This happened to be milled, you know, milled out. And uh, there was no, at that time, there were, there was no electronics like this at all. And uh, this is what we have. And this is what we could find out from the people in the town and the guy that did this, that did all this work and everything, could ne was actually thrown off farms thinking that, uh, that there might have been a machine, say, in an attic someplace like that that somebody just put away and never did sell for copper. But unfortunately, to, to reconstruct something like this, it, it would take a long time. You know, and I said I would get around to it one of these days, but I don't know which day. You know, this, and because I do have it pretty well formulated in my mind about how you would switch something like this with the brushes and everything. But trying to get the manuals um, on a Delco Ramey generator, you know, there are some older books which I did find that actually show how this armature is actually wound because they did change them. They changed them into it so that they wouldn't spark here on the commutators. And that probably was why the brushes wore out uh, because they needed to generate this radiant spike to fill this capacitor to switch this motor. And, and, the, and, the, and the people involved in this that actually owned them said they would give it a pull and they wouldn't turn the lights on until it got up to about 5,000 RPMs. And that's where it ran. It ran at about 5,000 RPMs, the same as a permanent magnet motor. When you hear people talk about permanent magnet motors, they run at about 5,000 RPMs. And they all seem to do the same thing when they're using this energy, they're all around that speed. And if you think about this, you know, 5,000 RPMs at this weight, right, is quite a flywheel. How and, is that? Oh, this is about, oh, this is about maybe eight pounds, nine pounds. Okay. And, and the Delco generators are were really heavy duty built, you can see just by the windings there. What 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 vintage of Delco generator would that have been? Oh this is fifties. Mm. This had to be fifties. You know, just when the twelve volts start, first started coming out, maybe sixties. And this was how many volts? Twelve volts. Twelve volts, okay. Yeah, he moved it from six volts to twelve volts. Because remember, the Volkswagen generator was a Bosch generator. So that what they brought back was a Bosch generator that was set up basically like this. And from all the people that just did one job, they uh, they constructed this. This guy drew this, and another guy. So he, he drew that, and uh, 